How's it going YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Sick Air TV and today we're going to be talking about my time with the OnePlus 9 Pro. Yes, this baby right here. Got this last week, going about on a week of using this and I have to say this is a really, really nice phone. Like this thing is a beast when it comes down to just fluidness of it, the speed of it. The cameras on the rear are really good. Don't let all the uh, negative uh, reviews on YouTube discourage you. These cameras are really good. Now, this phone is not perfect. So we're gonna talk about my time with the OnePlus 9 Pro. We're gonna get into the things that I like and the things that I do not like. There are just a few things that I do not like about this device, but before we do, Go ahead and subscribe, hit that little bell icon up top, that way you get notified on my future video and future coverage of this device. And I'd really appreciate it guys. So let's go ahead and jump down into it. So this phone, really, really nice, excellent OnePlus device. It's a little bright, let me see if I can dumb that down a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this thing is really nice. One of the first things that is really beautiful on here is the display. This display is just freaking awesome. You can get this mic pointed at me. And yeah, this display is freaking amazing. This thing is a really nice 120 hertz WQHD, the best you could get on here. It has that LTPO display or whatever the hell it's called to where the refresh rate could drop all the way down to one hertz and go all the way up to 120 hertz depending on what you are doing. This thing has settings in here for the display which are just insane. The hyper touch, vibrant colors, you know, motion graphic smoothing, ultra high video resolution. Granted the ultra high video resolution only works on Snapchat, but I went ahead and turned it off until hopefully it gets, you know, supported by other apps. But the motion graphics works on YouTube, Netflix, uh, and the uh, hyper touch of course works on everything vibrant color effect that works on everything as well but this display is really really beautiful i love it this thing the touch sensitivity on here touch response really really nice this thing just feels really fast and fluid oneplus never fails to deliver when it comes down to their phones being fast as hell you could always count on that from oneplus um, other things I like, like I said, are the cameras on here. I might show some uh, pictures taken with the OnePlus 9 Pro. These cameras are really nice. You got your 48 megapixel main sensor, 50 ultra wide, 8 telephoto, and I believe it's a 2 or a 5 monochrome, probably 2, two megapixel monochrome front facing camera. Ah, they dropped the ball on the front facing camera. I think it's a 16 megapixel front facing camera can only record up to 1080p 60 frames per second that is kind of a bummer pictures and video coming out of this front facing camera are okay they're not the best i just don't believe that oneplus worked so hard on their rear facing cameras and they said oh shit, we totally forgot about the front facing camera now nah, just go ahead and throw in what we've been throwing in there for the past three years it'll be all right I don't believe they did that. Like, why? Why did they do that? It's just hard to believe that they worked so hard on the rear and totally just forgot about the front facing camera. I don't know. Hopefully, it gets improved with updates. And this phone has had two updates since I've had it, and camera quality has gotten really, really good. Front facing camera, still about the same. Uh, really, not much of a difference there. But the rear cameras, really, really good. I'm planning on throwing together a little uh, camera test of this and throw in some before the update and after the update pictures, see if you guys notice any differences differences in the two pictures. But that being said, yeah, front facing camera, one thing that I do not like about this, I think it should have been better. It could be better uh, to compete with, you know, Samsung and Apple and Google. You know, this phone is, you know, $1,069 and it should have just perfect everything and that front facing camera is lacking uh fingerprint sensor one thing that i don't like but you get used to it 
it is really low. As you can see right there, this fingerprint sensor is really low. Used to it to being up here, just like Samsung devices are. Uh, you get used to it. Is it a deal breaker? No, it's not a deal breaker. It just takes some while to get used to. Why they put it that low, I do not know. That's another re thing that I do not like about this phone, but it's not killing me or eating me up inside. So keep that in mind. Uh, other thing that's really awesome in this is the 65 watt charging. You could charge this thing from zero to 100 in like 27 minutes, 30 minutes tops. This thing is fast. If you get the wireless charger from OnePlus, you could wireless wire. You could wirelessly charge this. I can't talk shit. 50 watts wireless charging. If you buy the OnePlus charger from them, it's like seventy dollars. But you can still wirelessly charge with this. It's just gonna do it at the normal 15 watt charging. Still great. Reverse wireless charging. You could put your earbuds or something on here and reverse wirelessly charge. Another great thing about this device, really, really nice. Uh, other than that, audio on here has been great. Bluetooth has been excellent. Wi-Fi, everything has been on here. Uh, really, really nice. The signal, I get a good, you know, signal 5G. You know, in my area, it's kind of weak anyways, but it's still, everything connects. Everything sounds great when I'm on phone calls and things like that. But yeah, this display is just awesome. Another thing that's a little bit of a gripe, not a deal breaker, is the color i wish oneplus would have just done matte on all of their finishes i thought this was supposed to be like a matte up top and then go into a frosty down here it looks like that but it's all still glossy so when this thing looks clean it looks freaking badass but you're using this for a couple of seconds and you got your greasy fingerprints all over the back i am getting the skin i have it on the way from d brands i will probably slap that on here but yeah other than that, I wish it would have just been matte. It's not too bad. It is very nice and very pretty color. I really like shiny phones, but then you get all the fingerprints on there and it's kind of annoying. I wish they would have just went matte on all of them and just called it a day. But other than that, now deal breaker, Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and on the back. No Victus, but I really don't care. Personally, I like older Gorilla Glass because it's less prone to scratches i know it breaks easier but i don't drop my phones i worry about scratches you know setting my phone on the top of a desk it gets scratched with this new soft gorilla glass they got nowadays so not really a deal breaker for me but other than that camera quality on here battery life one other thing that's a little iffy on here battery life is okay it's not the greatest 4500 milliamp hour battery of course there's two batteries in here to help with that, you know, 65 watt charging and battery life is okay. I end the night at work eight hours and streaming and playing music, you know, whatnot. I end up leaving work with like 30% left and that's only after eight hours. Any other phone I got, the S21, which I'm filming right now, the Note, I'll leave work at like anywhere in between 40 and 50%. And this one, it's going down to like 30, you know, below 30. And I don't know if that's just a recent update on it. Hopefully it'll fix that. But yeah, battery life on here is okay. It's not the best. I think it should have been a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Maybe something's draining the battery. I don't know. But battery life on here, it's not freaking amazing or anything. So that's another thing that's kind of iffy. Like again, like I said, these aren't deal breakers. This is a fantastic device. IP68 water and dust resistance. This thing is just beautiful, like this display. It's been a while since I've had a Pro from OnePlus. The last one I had was a 7 Pro a couple years ago, and every other phone I've gotten was just a regular and the T variant, and this is a huge step up from those. This thing is beautiful, alert slider. Everything you need on this phone is there. Cameras are excellent. Speed and performance, great. It's just the little battery life is a little weak, uh, that finish, front-facing camera, sometimes can be real shit, especially in low light. 1080p only, would have preferred 4K on the front-facing camera. It is what it is. It's still a really nice phone. Should it be $1,000? No, maybe it should have been nine something, $950, $999 at least. But this model is 
$1,069 from OnePlus, 12 gigabytes, 256. You can get the other version that's just 8, 128. And that one will probably be at about 969, I think. But this is still a great device. Just wanted to give you guys a heads up on it, how it's been treating me, how I've been treating it. Really, really nice. This phone is beautiful. I love this Hasselblad uh, new camera design on here. Just looks really, really nice, as you can see right there. This is a really beautiful looking phone. Cameras are delivering. As far as I could tell, as if the camera looks good, I'm happy. If the pictures look good, I'm happy. I don't care. You know, I look at, you know, whether or not there's noise in there or if it's blurry or if it's crappy. If they look good enough for me, I don't care. I care about performance, you know, on a device. You could have the best cameras on here, but when you're doing everyday tasks on here and it lags and you get stutters, pisses me off. This could have the greatest cameras on there, but if you have that system that's just slow and janky, sort of like LG's phones, then it's not worth it. This phone, really fast and fluid. I really love it. This thing is great in my time of using it. I just wanted to check in with you guys, give you guys an update of the OnePlus 9 Pro and how it's been doing. And yeah, hopefully, did you pick it up? Do you like it? Do you like the cameras? Are they worth it? You know, all this hype over OnePlus and Hasselblad. You know, I think it was, it's just that front facing camera. Hasselblad should have paid attention to that one too, just not the rear ones. They should have put their two cents into that front facing camera as well. They did not. But with that being said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more content of the OnePlus 9 Pro and other devices that I got. Like I said earlier, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay safe out there. Peace.